You can import data from files into MATLAB either interactively or programmatically. This video will focus on the programmatic import of data. Using this approach, you can read more complex or non-standard format files, have more control over importing options, and automate the importing of one or many files. The functions used for importing data can be called either at the command line or used as part of a MATLAB program. You can find the supported file types in the MATLAB product with associated functions to read them in the documentation. You can also browse for them by clicking here and choosing Data Import and Export. For example, the function to read text files that contain comma-separated values that are numeric is CSV read. For numeric text files with other delimiters, the function is DLM read. The function to read an Excel file is XLS read. You can optionally specify other parameters like worksheet number and cell range. For text files, which contain strings and numeric data, such as this four column comma separated file, or to read parts of a text file, use the TextScan function. TextScan and other similar functions that can read parts of a file require you to open it first using the fopen function, which returns a file identifier. This identifier is then passed to the file reading function, in this case, TextScan. With TextScan, you need to specify how to read each column with a format string. The function help can show you how to specify this. We will be reading in a combination of numbers and strings. We'll read in the first column as a number, the next as a string, and the following two as numbers. We then optionally specify the number of lines to read, the header lines to skip, and the delimiter, which in this case is a comma. You then need to close the file by passing the file identifier to the close function. We see the data is returned to the workspace as a cell array of columns of data. You can search for functions to access data from other standard file formats, or application-specific file formats in add-on products. For working with non-standard or binary data files, use the low-level I.O. functions, which have similar functionality to C I.O. functions. This concludes the demonstration. Try this in MATLAB now, or browse the documentation for more details.